So when we do a binomial series expansion, we haven't really talked too much about the interval of convergence of those things. But if we look at our ratio test and we do the limit as n goes off to infinity of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n, what we have in the case of our binomial series is we have the absolute value of r choose n plus 1 times x to the n plus 1 over r choose n times x to the n. Well, our x to the n, quite naturally, are, are going to cancel out. And so that just leaves us with an absolute value of x on the outside, and then our limit as n goes off to infinity of the ratio of those terms. So we've got an r choose n plus 1 divided by an r choose n. Well, if we write out those definitions, let's see what we have. So for r choose n plus 1, what we have is r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 all the way down to r minus n. All of that over n plus 1 factorial. For our r choose n, we have r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 all the way down to r minus n minus 1. All of that divided by n factorial. So if I would do r choose n plus 1 divided by r choose n, what happens in that case is that I have an r times r minus 1 all the way down to r minus n, and then divided by n plus 1 factorial times my n factorial over r minus, or r rather, times r minus 1, r minus 2, all the way down to r minus n plus 1. So what happens with our n factorials? Our n, our n factorials will cancel each other out. And so we're just left with an n plus 1 in the denominator. Our r's cancel out. r minus 1's cancel out. All the way down to our r sub n minus 1, which is going to be the term that's right before our r sub n. So when we simplify this expression, what we actually have, we will have an r minus n on top and just an n plus 1 in the denominator. So now what happens as n goes off to infinity? And this term will actually head, because the degree of the numerator matches the degree of the denominator, will actually head to a minus 1 over 1, or a minus 1. So if we come back to our ratio test, we will have the absolute value of x times the limit n goes off to infinity of our absolute value r choose n plus 1 over r choose n, which we've said will go to 1. So we get the absolute value of x. So what that means is that we will have absolute convergence when the absolute value of x is going to be less than 1. And so if we want to estimate the value of something that's larger than 1, well, we need to maybe manipulate it just a little bit in order that our power series expansions will be valid. So if we want a 5 to the negative 2 thirds, we can really write that as a 1 fifth to the 2 thirds power. And so kind of using our binomial series expansion, if we make this 1 minus 4 fifths raised to the 2 thirds power, then this will become a series expansion, n equals 0, up to infinity, of 2 thirds, choose n, 
and we're substituting in a negative 4 fifths raised to the n power. So if we want to approximate this with five terms, what we have then is 2 thirds choose 0 plus 2 thirds choose 1 times a negative 4 fifths plus 2 thirds choose 2 times a negative 4 fifths squared plus a 2 thirds choose 3 negative 4 fifths cubed plus a 2 thirds choose 4 negative 4 fifths to the fourth power and then finally a 2 thirds choose 5 times a negative 4 fifths to the fifth power. So what we need to do now is to go through and evaluate our binomial coefficients. Well, with 2 thirds choose 0, that we defined to be 1. 2 thirds choose 1 is going to be 2 thirds minus 0 over 1 factorial, or just 2 thirds. A 2 thirds choose 2 looks like 2 thirds minus 0 times 2 thirds minus 1 all over 2 factorial. And so this gives us a negative 1 ninth. If we do 2 thirds choose 3, we have a 2 thirds minus 0, 2 thirds minus 1, and 2 thirds minus 2. All of that over 3 factorial, which simplifies to 4 over 81. Then for the last couple, what we have, for our 2 thirds choose 4, we have 2 thirds minus 0, 2 thirds minus 1, 2 thirds minus 2, and 2 thirds minus 3 all divided by 4 factorial, which simplifies to a negative 7 over 243. And then finally, with our 2 thirds choose 5, we have 2 thirds minus 0, 2 thirds minus 1, 2 thirds minus 2, 2 thirds minus 3, 2 thirds minus 4, all of that divided by 5 factorial, which simplifies to a 14 over 729. So we're kind of putting all of this together with what we have, we can then approximate equal to 1 plus a 2 thirds times a negative 4 fifths plus a negative 1 ninth times a negative 4 fifths squared plus 4 over 81 times a negative 4 fifths cubed plus a negative 7 over 243 times a negative 4 fifths to the fourth, and then finally plus 14 over 729 times a negative 4 fifths to the fifth power, which if we evaluate all of this gives us, gives us 800, 802,309 over 2,278,125. Which, if we then look at the decimal approximation for that, what we have approximately 0 0.35217953. And so, our decimal approximation rounded to three decimal places 
is approximately 0 0.352. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been kind of informative, and I will see you guys in the next video.